Hello and welcome students. In our last video, we discussed about payback period. That is a traditional method of capital budgeting. In today's video, we will be understanding the discounted payback period. So the discounted payback period is a capital budgeting procedure that is used to determine the profitability of a project. It gives the number of years it will take to break even from undertaking the initial expenditure by discounting the future cash flows and recognizing the time value of money. So basically, this metric is used to evaluate the feasibility and profitability of a given project. The formula for calculating discounted payback period remains the same as we discussed in traditional tape payback period that is PBP is equal to P plus B by C and denominations also remains the same. But a calculation is little different. Here we will be calculating the present value factors. So in this question is a project requires an outflow of rupees 1 lakh and the expected inflows generated from the project are 60,000, 50,000, 40,000, 30,000 and 20,000 for the next five years. Calculate discounted payback period of the project assuming the discounting rate is 10%. So here we have written the rate as 10%. Uh, after making the table, our initial cash outflow is 1 lakh. So we can mention 1 lakh here. And years are from 1 to 5 cash cash inflows are given to us but we first we need to convert these annual cfats into present value of cfats as in discounted payback period technique we considered the con we consider the concept of time value of money so here we will calculate the present value factor for which you can see the table also uh, at 10% uh, for one year two year three years, four years, and five years. Uh, and you can calculate it also as we know that PV factor is equal to 1 upon 1 plus R to the power N. And we have used this formula uh, in Excel to calculate our PV factor. So 1 upon 1.1, this 1.1 is basically 1 plus rate. Rate is 10%. So 1 plus 0.1 gives us 1.1 to the power N, that is the number of year we are talking about. So here it is 1. So we have given the cell referencing of A33 where 1 lies. Enter and you may drag this down in order to calculate all the values. So once you calculate the PV factors of all the years, you need to multiply the individual cash inflow with their PV factor in order to calculate the present value of each cash flow. And you may drag it down to get the to get all the values. Now, just like we did in the traditional payback period method, we will be calculating our cumulative CFATs. That is, first year will be this. Then for second year, it will be second CFAT plus first CFAT. Then again, for this, it will be third CFAT into a second cumulative CFAT. So that's how we have calculated the cumulative CFATs. We saw that, um, that we will recover our investment in the third year uh, and two years are the full that is uh, till then we are covering approximately 95,867 rupees but the other balance amount we are recovering in the third year so p is 2 so basically if you see here this is how it is calculated so p is 2 plus b is the balance amount which is left to be recovered in the third year that is 1 lakh was an initial investment minus 95,867 rupees and we will get our balance amount divided by the annual CFAT that is there in the year in which we will be recovering the final amount of our investment. So it's the third year where we will be recovering it. So we have a uh, given the we have we gave the cell referencing of third year of the CFAT and enter and you will get 2.1375 years that is in this uh, period of time we will be able to uh, 
get our basically we will be receiving our money back or we can say that uh, it will this amount this number of years will take to break even uh, from undertaking the initial expenditure of 1 lakh that we have incurred uh, by uh, discounting the future cash flows that is cash inflows and here we have recognized the concept of time value of money so hope it was understandable thank you so much for watching